Outlook Web App 2019 and Office 365 allows us to create and manage our own folders. So we're logged in as a user. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click at the very top on Tom's account and click Create a New Folder. And it opens up a little open box here in the bottom left. And I'm just going to call this one New Business. Hit Enter. And now my new business folder is there. So let's say that in Inbox, I have an email that I would like to put into the new business folder. So I'll just drag it in, let go. I can also put one folder in under another. So for instance, let's say the shared folder needs to go underneath the new business folder. So I can left click, drag it in. And now we see the shared folder is underneath the new business folder. And once again, I can drag email from one folder to the next. I can also right click on my folder and go to permissions. And I can say, hey, you know what? The default permission is going to be to create a subfolder, edit, etc. Or I can click under custom and just change it to publishing editor. Now I need to also go into anonymous and do the same thing. There we go, publishing editor. And that will basically allow anyone to go in and see that folder and make changes to it. Now if I decide, oh, that's a mistake. I don't want to just let anybody do that. Let's take it back to none. But what I would like to do is to give the administrator full access to everything. After clicking the plus, I'll just type in administrator and we can see administrator pops right up. Click add. Now I'm going to highlight the administrator and I'm going to give the default permission of publishing editor or even owner. So the difference between owner and publishing editor is the owner can add other people into this access list, whereas publishing editor has uh, every right except for the ability to add additional users. So I'm going to say yes, the uh, administrator can be the owner. Click OK. So now the administrator can go ahead and add this folder to their email and they'll, it'll show up as a folder on, on theirs, but it's really one of Tom's uh, folders. And that way the administrator can then see what's in it and also make changes to the permissions if they want to. If I use this folder a lot, then what I can do is right click on it and choose to add to favorites. So I'll click on that and now it shows up under favorites. So if you have a lot of different folders, then it's a good idea to add a folder into your favorites so that way you don't have to keep hunting for it. So you can just add a few folders at the top to your favorites and uh, the rest can all stay back here below. I can also change my mind and say remove from favorites. Now if I see a lot of emails that are unread and I don't want to show, those, show up as unread, I can just right click on those and choose mark as all read. And now any emails inside show marked as read. I can also do the reverse of that and highlight the email and choose mark as unread. And then that one appears back on the uh, shared folder. So that's how we create folders and manage them using the Outlook Web App 2019 as well as Office 365's Web App.